This video is sponsored by Cohen Financial. More on them later. Some properties are so different that have their own name. In today's episode, I'm going to analyze 11870 Ellis Street in Malibu. It's listed for $58.8 million and it's been on the market for over 300 days. First, you should know it's six bedrooms, 10 bathrooms. It's listed for 58.8. It's got 16,614 square foot of living space. That price is at around $3,539 a square foot and it sits on an acre lot. And now if you're new to the channel, I first tell you guys three things I like about it. And then I tell you guys three things I don't like about it. Then I would suggest the way I would have marketed it differently. But in today's episode, at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you guys an artificial intelligence tool I've created that it forecasts future home values down to the zip code level for 40,000 zip codes in the United States. So make sure to watch to the end. And at the end of the video, I will share with you guys how I can make that tool available to you. Okay. Now, three things I really like about this property. Lot utilization. Look, you have a private driveway. You have the frontage. Then you have a courtyard in the middle, which I absolutely love. And then you're left with so much land for the backyard, swimming pool, and all that jazz. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this lot utilization and it's fantastic. The second thing I love about this property is the fact that it's so different. I really salute developers that try to differentiate their product than other products that are available on the market. Let me read you guys a line from the property description. It says, this eclectic masterpiece was influenced by ancient civilizations, which ultimately created a sanctuary that lives up to its name, the Kaizen House which is the Japanese word for the pursuit of perfection. Look, cultural anthropology was one of my favorite topics in college. I'm all for this jazz. It might come a little cheesy, but I just like the fact that they've tried different and they've executed it pretty damn well. Now, the number one thing I love about this property is the land itself. I love the dimensions. I love the size of it. I mean, you got an acre flat with direct ocean views. It's not too narrow. It's not too long. It's just really, really well. I mean, look how lot utilization played out on it. For me, the magic really starts happening above 15,000 square foot of land that you start being able to position a you know, five, 6,000 square foot home properly on the lot. Obviously, the bigger, the better. And this is just rare to get this much flat land with ocean view. Now, before I tell you three things I don't like about it, you should know that I like to work with Mark Cohen when I get my own loans or for any of my clients. Why? Because he tells me right away for the product that I'm looking for, if he has the best rate or not. And when he doesn't, he introduces me to someone who does. Here's his phone number. Give him a call and tell him Arvin sent you. Okay, three things I don't like about the property. Finishes. Look, I have to say, I love the earthy factors and the cohesiveness of the design. I love the natural plants and the decor and everything. It's really, really cool. Very earthy, very different, very cultural. I think it could find its own buyer, but I'm not a big fan of the slabs in the kitchen. And I really don't like them when you light them up, right, at nighttime. I just think it makes it really cheesy and it cheapens it out. It would have been much nicer if they had like LED lights at the bottom of the counters, a little bit of an ambiance light. It would have been much, much better. Now, the second thing I don't like about this property is the location. And you're thinking, Arvin, what's wrong with you? This is Malibu. Wait, hold on. Okay. We have Malibu and then we got Malibu, okay? This is like halfway to Oxnard. It might be a better product for someone who's really wealthy in Oxnard who wants to have a Malibu beach house because this is far. And when you consider you got the weekend traffic on PCH, it's just not an ideal location in Malibu. Now, the number one thing I don't like about this property, and if you're wondering how I know this stuff, I'm a luxury and ultra luxury real estate agent in Beverly Hills. If you don't have to live in LA to work with me, you can reach me directly, book an appointment. I can help you with your transaction anywhere around the world. Okay, the number one thing I don't like about this property is the fact that the backyard is right on PCH. You actually have to overlook the PCH highway to see the ocean. And that is a huge negative. This is a highway. I mean, the cars are you know zipping by really, really fast and it just makes a lot of noise. And that is a huge negative for me. Now, you're thinking, Arvin, how would have you marketed this property differently? Look, I think it's been priced too high. I think it needs a reduction because it's been on the market for 300 days and it just hasn't sold, right? 
And I really actually believe this product can find its buyer because they've differentiated it. So it might not need the biggest reduction, but it definitely needs a reduction, right? Let's see how this zip code is going to perform in 2023. This artificial intelligence tool that I've created forecasts home values in five months in advance, right? Let's take a look. First, you should note that a typical home value in this zip code 90265 is around $4.1 million, right? And you can see that property prices have peaked in July and it's down negative 2.4% since then. And zipsmart.ai is forecasting that by April, the prices are gonna reduce by another 2%. And this shouldn't be much of a surprise because supply is up 12%. That might not seem so much, but when you look at demand, this zip code is experiencing 51% less demand compared to the same time last year. And then when you add up to the fact that rents have plateaued and are literally just collapsing, it's not a good sign. Okay, now if you're wondering how you can have access to this tool, it's not available right now. However, I would love to make this tool available to my channel members. The problem is I don't have enough subscribers or viewers to share this tool and even have membership on my YouTube channel. So I ask you to like and subscribe and I will make a version of this software available to my members when I do have a chance to have membership status on my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and remember, the content of this video is purely my personal opinion. Real estate analysis is subjective in nature. So go see the properties yourself, form your analysis, okay? Tell me in the comments below if you agree with my strategy or if you think there's other reasons why this property hasn't sold. I would love to hear that and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.